The glitz, the glamour, the fashion. This Monday, Hollywood's biggest stars will descend onto New York City for one of the most important nights in the biz, the Met Gala. Here to guide us through some of the Met Gala's most historic style moments, it's fashion expert <laughs> Amanda Garagas. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. It's Met Gala. Yeah, let's jump into Come this on. because the Met Gala is known for featuring some of the wild and outrageous looks that we've seen. <laughs> yes. Let's kick things off with somebody who's always wild, Katy Perry, yeah. who was lit back in 2019. Oh, yeah, you mean it when you say she was lit, <laughs> it's like literally. This was off the charts. It was a camp theme, and she really went for it. This was custom made for her by Jeremy Scott. We love him for some camp. But yeah, the dress was glittering. It was all kinds of, you know, bedazzlement. But then there was battery packs in that dress, so the chandelier could also light up. And it was like kind of heavy, too. Apparently 40 pounds, just the headpiece, wow. which was insane. Um, but like, not only did she bring this on the the pink carpet but then for the after party we got to talk about how she switched it up come on because she went full hamburger I love this. <laughs> this was like at an Anna Wintour party because I kind of <laughs> love that she's with Anna in this hamburger situation. Um, but it was extraordinary. Again, it was designed for her by Jeremy Scott and it had all these Swarovski crystal oh. like sesame seeds yeah. on it. Well, let's stick with 2019 because some good things happened, including mm -hmm. Cardi B. Yes. I mean, that dress oh took gosh. up the entire staircase. Oh, my gosh. It was a huge dress. <laughs> and this was a moment. This dress was custom made for her by Tom Brown. I mean, 10 feet of train, like 44 carats of rubies valued at nearly a quarter of a million dollars. All the feathers, the headpiece. She did every single thing and more. Oh, yes. Well, speaking of doing more, you know, there are a couple of people, celebrities, that are synonymous with the Met Gala. Yeah. And Sarah Jessica Parker is certainly one of those celebs. Yeah, I love SJP. She always brings it. So here she's at the Heavenly Bodies Gala. This dress was made for her by Dolce & Gabbana, and it's so stunning. But really, the central focus here is the headpiece. Yes. Look a little closely, and you'll see it's a full nativity scene in there. Okay? <laughs> well, you know, I love it when the stars bring it. <laughs> That's a lot of detail. That is um, a lot of yeah, detail. But yeah, Dolce Gabbana, they are Catholic themselves. Some of their pieces were actually in the exhibit that year. And I just, you know, Sarah gets it right. It's crazy. Speaking yeah. of getting it right. Let's hear it. Last year, Karl mm -hmm. Lagerfeld, they did a whole <laughs> celebration. And it truly brought out some of the most over-the-top looks. Yes, that's an understatement, my friend. <laughs> it really, really <laughs> did. I mean, Karl Lagerfeld, we absolutely love him. He's like a hero to me. But somehow his cat, Choupette, won the night. Here, Doja Cat. I know we talked about this before. Stunning. But there's something a little different about her, right? Like the face is there's a prosthetic going yes. on. We know this. <laughs> so she went full cat mode. And then Jared Leto one upped her in this like full <laughs> shoe pet. I mean, it's just like crazy. You know, it is amazing. <laughs> and I love that stars just go there, especially when they do their arrivals. And sometimes we get full on performances. Mm -hmm. Like in 2019's camp, I mean, Zendaya. Oh, we have to talk about Zendaya every time. I just want to talk about it. She always gets it right. It's so inspiring. And so, yes, when she arrived at the camp gala, she brought Cinderella. Here we're seeing her doing Joan of Arc. And I love this look, especially because of the hair. And they talked about how the hair, this little wig, and it was a wig. Guys don't always know it's wigs. It, it was a wig. And it was like the point of departure. But here we see her in this Tommy Hilfiger dress at that camp gala. It lit up. She was there with her fairy godmother who waved a wand. And the dress was not, like, shining like this when she arrived. But then the magic happened. The magic happened. Speaking of the magic. Tell me. This arrival right here, we got to talk about it. Lady Gaga <laughs> oh, knows gosh. how to make a magical <laughs> arrival. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not the first to say this, but I was Gaga over this Gaga moment. <laughs> it was so great. The Brandon Maxwell, she had not one, not two, not three, but four looks this night, and they were all extraordinary. She started big. She stripped down to nearly nothing, and everyone was just like a knockout. Head over heels. Yeah. Speaking of heads, Billy Porter turned heads <laughs> when he lived my ultimate Met Gala dream. <laughs> Do you remember this moment? Um, do I remember this moment? I want to live this moment. And it was extraordinary. I mean, he arrived the pharaoh, right? C carried in by these six gorgeous men. And it was all about that entrance. Done. Full stop. And the wings, they were good, too. They were all good. Yeah. You know what else was good? What? You, Thank as you. usual. Oh, Thank you. you so much for joining us. And tune in to E! News this Monday at 11 p.m. for all your up-to-date fashion coverage from this year's Met Gala festivities.